Hey, hey, Moby. What is best in life? Wrong, dude. Wrong. It's crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentations of their women. Uh, hey, hey, Moby. Mo- Moby, help me answer this letter. Dear Tim and Moby, who were the Sumerians? From dawn. The Sumerians were the inhabitants of Sumer, one of the oldest known civilizations in history. Oh, a civilization is an advanced society with complex social, cultural, and political systems. The Sumerians arrived on the scene as early as 5300 BCE and built a civilization that lasted more than 3,000 years. It was located in an area of the world known as Mesopotamia. That was a plain between two rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates, in what today is the country of Iraq. Those rivers flooded frequently, which made the land really fertile, but also swampy and difficult to live on. Sometime around 3500 BCE, though, the Sumerians figured out how to control the flooding. They developed something called irrigation. They constructed canals and artificial flood banks called levees. These structures diverted water and helped them grow crops and raise livestock. Right, Sumer was one of the earliest societies to develop agriculture. That's the cultivation of plants and animals for food and other uses. Before agriculture, hunter-gatherers depended on the natural world to provide for them. But farming gave people a steady way to produce food. In Sumer, irrigation let farmers produce more food than they could eat themselves. As agricultural technology improved, the excess of food grew even larger. That allowed some people to make their living in ways other than farming. People began to specialize in pot-making, metalworking, building, baking, weaving, and sculpting. That's called division of labor, and it's the basis of any advanced civilization. It lets people concentrate on something other than where their next meal is coming from. And that leads to the rise of cities. Sumerian city-states originally grew around simple temples. These temple structures later expanded into massive ziggurats, which were pyramids made of terraces linked by ramps and stairs. Well, there are about a dozen independent Sumerian city-states. They shared a common language and culture, but they weren't united under a single government or ruler. Each city-state worshipped its own god or goddess, who they believed actually lived inside the ziggurat. Each city-state was ruled by a king-like figure called an ensi, who doubled as the high priest. Ensis led the military, acted as judges, presided over religious ceremonies, and kept an eye on trade. Well, the reason we know so much about the Sumerians was that they were among the first people to develop a written language. Writing came about as a way to keep a record of their trading with other city-states and cultures. At first, they kept records using pieces of clay as tokens. These gradually developed into pictures and symbols that represented specific objects. By around 3100 BCE, the symbols had turned into a whole system of wedge-shaped marks and lines called cuneiform. But writing wasn't their only bright idea. The Sumerians also codified the first system of written laws and a system of government to enforce them. Bronze was another major development. The Sumerians mixed tin and copper to make tools and weapons out of this sturdy metal. The Sumerians also came up with a number system based on 60. They were the ones who divided the hour into 60 minutes and the circle into 360 degrees. We still do that today. They even invented the first wheeled vehicle, which meant that wagons could be used to carry loads for long distances. Well, neighboring groups eventually conquered them and absorbed a lot of Sumerian culture. Much of that culture was passed down to the ancient Greeks and Romans, and eventually on to us. Right, which means we have the Sumerians to blame for my geometry homework.